Hi everyone, welcome to lecture 15th of this series of Python for Oil and Gas. Uh, my name is Devyan Sethi and in the previous video we have seen some basics about if and else statements. Now in this video we learn about how can we use uh, different keywords and operators such as in keyword and and or or operators. So let's get started with the video. So uh, here I have what I have done is I have already created a variable x y z which consists of a string that is python is easy okay now let's say I want to uh, check whether if this string has a character any character z or not say what I can do is if this correct I want to check for character z if z in x y z so it means after that uh, after this statement so this is our if uh, this is our the condition that if z is present in x y z is true then what i have to do is what i want is that i want to print a statement character z is present in variable x y z cool and if it is not present what i can go for is i can go for else and space and here i can go for print that character z is not present here okay so when if i run this let's see what we get so it says that the character z is not present in the variable x y z in variable x y z so this is how we can uh, use the uh, in keyword to check whether if something is present inside our variable or string uh, we can do one more thing here i'll just copy this and uh, now instead of z i just write here uh, a space bar okay if if, uh, if a space is present in the variable x y z so i can simply okay i'll just simply change it that space is present and here I'll write space is not present simple so it says that the space is present because this is the space right here right here it is present in that x y z so this is how we can uh, use our uh, key uh, in keywords now uh, let's go ahead with the and or or operator uh, what we can do is let's say we know the pressure in kg basin average pressure in kg basin is 5000 psi okay and i have already formed a variable of a basin which contains a string of uh, kg basin and a pressure variable which consists value of 5000 that is integer value i am assuming that it is in psi what i can do is for and operator uh, let's say if i go say if i write if basin equal to kg basin and pressure equal equal 5000 what i want is right print i what i want to print is that um, anything let's say i print anything only okay and else if this is not true what it will print print it will print let's say nothing i i, I want to print nothing okay now see here it means what it means is what and means is that both the conditions should be true if both this condition this condition that if this is also true and this is also true then only it, it will run the if block right so then only it will get it will print this statement if any one of them out of if any one out of both of them is false then then what it will print it will print the else else part let's see that now so it is printing the if block because both the conditions are true here because basin is also basin is kg basin we have defined it and pressure is 5000 uh, let's say i do it 5100 here so one condition is false here now let's see the result now see we are getting the uh, else block now okay so i hope you are understanding what i am doing here now let's look at the OR operator. In OR operator, what is happening is if any one condition out of both of them is true, it will go with the if block statement. So because it, this is what OR do, right? In the mathematics problems also, this is what it does. 
so if uh, any one of both of them let's say if this is 5000 again if i do in this scenario both of them are true so that is why we are getting the uh, if block result and uh, let's say i do 5100 here so any one of them is true then also we are getting the if block result now if i change this uh, kg basin let's say i do for kg basin small v here now let's see now see the both the um, both the conditions are false now here kg basin is uh, with small b is false it, if it was a capital b it was right and the pressure is also not 5000 so not 5100 so that is why both the conditions are false and hence we are getting the uh, result output of uh, else block statement so this is what uh, and and or how it can be uh, used inside the if and else statements now let's check whether a string is empty or not okay uh, i have a, created a variable of uh, drill rate uh, which ask the user that what is the drill rate a drill bit uh, a rate of penetration in feet per hour okay now what i want to create is uh, i want to uh, see whether user has inputted input a value or not or has he just leave it empty so to check that there is a one method we used using if method is that is if write the variable name that is uh, drill rate simply put uh, simply put the colon after that words and afterward just write the print and uh, if this statement is true what you want is what i want is i want i want to print that drill rate okay if he has input the value then i want to print that well bit so, uh, so drill rate so using the string formatting method i will write that drill rate of well is whatever it is i'll write the this uh, variable name okay and if if it is uh, empty i would just print that no input given now what this code means is now let's see from start we are asking a user to input a drill rate in the variable drill rate right now again there are two possibilities user might uh, enter a value or user might just leave it empty so if what this means is if drill rate so this means if drill rate is true it means it has some value this thing means that if drill rate is true it means it drill rate has some amount of value then what we are printing is the drill rate of well is whatever that value is whatever the user has input it we have used the string formatting here okay string formatting here uh, I'll give you the link in description as well for this uh, uh, video if you haven't uh, watched this video before as and if if we have uh, if this is false what is what it uh, result gives is that it is there is no input no input given so let's go and let's check both uh, scenarios so it is asking me a question here let's say I write 45 any value let us write so it gives me the drill rate of well is 45 I should write here fit per r as well fit per r now let me again execute this now let's say as of 45 so it shows me the drill rate of well is 45 feet per hour now if i again okay i'll do this in another code cell i do it here now i run this again now i just uh, keep it empty i'm not entering any value i'll just simply write enter here so it is showing me no input given i hope you're clear what i'm uh, doing here so uh, this is all about in and or, or operators and okay so here will be end this video and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture thank you thank you so much for joining